Praise the Lord. Come back here again. Amen. Come back here again. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. Now I can pray me see I will need. Yeah. Him, 
he must believe that there is a God and that he reward those who sincerely seek him. The emphasis comes to me from the sixth of the verse that faith is basically synonymous with having to be, be pleasing unto God. Without faith, it's impossible to please God. I want to talk about the fact that you're here today. And that's also the same reason why I'm here. Except that the Lord Jesus Christ, here 24, 25. I'm now 74 years old. Amen. Amen. I'm standing still because of faith. The reason why we are here and able to celebrate the conference of today is because of faith. Amen. Faith in God enables us to do everything because of faith. Amen. The church that I was joining before the particular faith says, if you're not part of the church, you will not be able to make it to heaven. But I thank God because in 1967, I became an eyewitness of the healing that was done unto my mother, she was Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That was the promise that I made to those people. If there will be a healing, come unto the body of my mother, I will return all and everything that is in my possession, materialized to the Mormon church, I will come and follow Jesus. I have never seen anything like such. This was the first time. Hallelujah. Mother's Amen. Did not have any word to utter. Only followed the word of Tomasi. Just to say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Walking around within the premises in the property, both hands lifted as we follow her, giving thanks unto the Lord. And then the onlookers were saying, 
that's just the last of what she's going to say. She's looking around the land for the last time and there will be coming her demise. Amen. From that day forth, as I have witnessed with my own eyes the miraculous of what God has done, and I still follow they never touched this or alluded to anything whereby they claim that the church is going to do the healing. No. The question that was given to her, do you believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God? She just nodded her head. Yes. Thomas, she reached out, touched her, and she said, Because of your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, raise her up. Not only she was able to set up, but she began to look around and call us by names, but before she was not able to do that. Hallelujah! But we the Nalabo of Emare of Amen. And by faith, we'll be able to please God. I matai kui gatui. The eyes of the blind have the sight back. Therefore, the people who are speaking, that the the lame able to walk. And the peace has now commemorated here on earth because of the faith in Jesus Christ. You will not be able to be pleasing unto God in any other fashion. No. It is not because of your faith in the church. Hallelujah. Your faith in Jesus. Since that day I accepted Jesus. I have never heard a claim from any of the Pentecostal people that this is the true church. I was told by the leader of the church back then, you stay here within the comfort zone of the buses, you want to go within the chariots, Do you know how foolish it is to join such a segment? It's not been registered yet. If it is going to be a chariot, I will write the chariot. Amen. Faith only would be the pleasing factor Hallelujah. the Lord. All those doctors that have disclosed to us, we only have three nights with our mother and then we're going to bury her. All the doctors have gone from this earth. Amen. Will be able to be pleasing unto the Lord. Let me just uh, speak at you from the point of being an old gray haired person. I'm not going to yield at anybody, but if it's come as such, the exhortation. Amen. You may find it is in the form of a rebuke or exhortation or counseling. Hold on to it, hold fast, because by faith it will be pleasing, it will bring you comfort. What we Faith was the main ingredient that made my heart charge 
my heart to relinquish and let go but just like this uh, leader had uh, disclosed that to me you want to get off from the bus and ride on the car from that day my heart was made up my mind was fixed I didn't I did believe on the messenger I believe on Jesus the message Amen. that's why I still have this life in me standing in front of you because of the faith Amen. It's the only way we can be preaching unto God. It's faith and faith only. And faith is really given the example of a seed of a mustard seed so minute. And the seed of the watermelon is too big for God. He said, it's like the seed of a mustard seed so small, but it will grow into a humongous tree. Hallelujah. Amen. Because of faith, I still remain standing within the ministry of the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. I want to encourage you, faith is going to be pleasing unto God. Husband and wife could not sit around and try to calculate the kind of faith emulated from your spouse and vice versa. Individually, focus upon your faith department because God has brought into the planet all kinds of faith to be pointing unto the Lord Jesus. The will of the Lord unto us is like this. We have faith in the Lord Jesus Christ as the Son of God. And then we will have life. This is the reason why you are on your chair today. You have faith in Jesus, accepted Jesus, follow Jesus, therefore. And therefore you hold fast to the faith. I have fought the good fight. Yes, the gentleman. I have won the race and hold fast to the faith. Hallelujah. Have you noticed the ministry that you are endeavoring is taking a skydiving down spirals. Yes, you probably blaming the leaders because of us causes the kind of a direction. It is why the reason why it is because of all of us. We are not going to blame any other person. The reason why we are diving downward because of you. It is so because of me. Today, this is the thing that you're going to be pleasing unto the Lord God. When you place the faith in Jesus Christ, He's the only Son of God, you will have life. Hallelujah. When you have faith in Jesus Christ, you are going therefore to receive life. Amen. What other big things that you might have? They would be preaching unto God. Oh, do we hear? Here, your faith is now preaching unto the Lord. You come and remain in your chair, preaching unto God with that faith up to this day. It seems like you're a passenger on a bus. I have asked that you do not be shaken, do not be mad because of what I'm saying. And I'm hoping that the Lord will shake us up and do something important. When they receive the Lord Jesus, they remain seated in the same position. 
And sadly, there'll be more be uh, fleecing on the Lord because of this plan. The Lord did not hear you. The Lord's body is to remain and fulfill that responsibility of being the stewardship of the land. No. The reason why the Lord God has restored you is because you can bring over Amen. and restore someone else. Our church has now lost that particular vision. Every Sunday we come and fill up the pews in the front and in the middle. You remain there seated until Pastor came over. Food feeds you. And all the spiritual food that you have been fed, we don't know where they have been tested. And now the physical body is now extended sideways, but then the eternal body is now growing thinner. The church is becoming a baby. We're just waiting for the spoon to come. We open our mouth and then we take it in. We have to get the To the Lord. The reason why you are here on that chair in particular, because there was one person have to take to reach out to you. I do not want to look back for yesterday because we have lost this particular one. But there was a day. Thomas, if you reach out to me, even so the temple, temple was part of the group. I can never forget the prayer that was uttered by four fathers on my behalf. There was a lady by the name of Emma that came out to lay hands on me and to pray for me. I still remember. I still remember this dear, lovely woman. She was really one of the saints within the Palatofa house. Hallelujah. That's why my Amen. life has decided you will not just fill the pew, but you will reach out to save someone. Yes, yes. Amen. That is exactly the vision for the church. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. This is the vision for the church. So that we will save you. And we're pleasing unto the Lord God. But more pleasing unto Him if you're going to bring some more soul unto the church. Don't go and try to preach it because you're going to preach something else. Just go and invite them to bring them to the church. And Papa will do the preaching. Let the pastors fulfill the responsibility of preaching and they will receive the Lord Jesus. This is exactly the challenge of this night. You'll be more pleasing unto the Lord God. To bring souls. It doesn't matter we just come and find life and remain seated therefore. You know the time that when Samaria was being and circled by the enemy and then four of the lepers thrown out there and distant to the outside. The people who were sick were destitute and thrown outside. They didn't want to mingle with them. The Syria has already uh, encircled them. Inside the city, inside the city, you find the soldiers and the rest of the army, and then the lepers are outside. One of them disclosed unto them, we're going to stay here, we're going to die. And we're going down to the city exactly where there's famine, we die. Now, something, let's go to the city. If we are going to die, let's die here because of what we have done something. Just don't stay here and do nothing and die the same way. There are some that are serious. Just wait for your dying day within the service of God's church. Don't stay there and wait for the death. It will come. 
é não, irmã. Se há um novo, não, porque fica lá, venha que mal, né, que você está em Mateus. Venha que há uma mão e ralar o marido. Aleluia! Eu sei que você está em Mateus. Você está em Mateus. You need to go and save some souls. That's the purpose why the Lord God has saved your soul. That you can save another soul. Soldier stays with the weaponry and all the swords in the city. And here the lepers, they began to set foot up. This is the enemy. We're going to go down. If the Syrians is going to spare us, we're going to live. If they're going to kill us, it's okay. Let, let them kill us while we're doing Amen. something. Don't just die in the same chair. Stand up and do something that the Lord has done it for you. Go and visit the family that the soul might be saved. While you're knocking at the door for your yate, share Jesus with them. This is the will of the Lord God. Much more to his joy be pleasing if you reach out and to restore soul. As the lepers began to come through, the Syrians departed. Hallelujah. Why did they run away? In the heart, the the wise the wise feet. Because the Lord has given them the audios in their hearing that these are the horses that the Egyptians come into overtake them. The Lord God has used their, their deformed feet as an instrument. They're using this battle uh, equipment. You know that to restore souls. The guard came over, disclosed unto the captain. I think they have called help to the Egyptian, and here they came. The captain stood up and began to run and left them to think about You will notice that when the Lord begins to minister, human, humanity will be fat, will run away. This is the faith of this four. By the time they reached out to the rest of the food in that night, they began to partake of the food. The one who had the vision began to say, hey, it's a mistake. Hey, what you're doing is not right. Why are we going to partake and have the food for ourselves while there are people, the king and the rest of the world? Yes, pick up the food and take it up to the land. You see, this is the will of God. This is the vision. When you come and find life, and you stay within your comfort zone and leave the soul. This is the desire of the Lord and much more to be pleasing unto the Lord if you're going to say so. I do the leader from New Zealand, there are few members, the four or five members of the churches, we come to the conference. We need to wake up. Yes. Amen. This life that you are now living and enjoying, there was one who came and passed it on to you. The one with the vision disclosed unto them, pick up the food, let's take him down to the village. They're knocking on the door. The soldiers open up the door. Throw the swords. And they get to ready to go into battle with the letters. There's no more battle. The battle is done by the Lord God Jehovah. What's the reason? Because of the faith. Praise the Lord. Because of the faith. 
It is the faith that brings complete total liberty and the Samaria. From the king of India. Up unto the people of Samaria, but took up the food in the possession of the lepers. The Lord is speaking unto your heart tonight. When we have come to the church, we partake of all the good things that is in it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Have a fellowship with the Lord God in His presence. And you hear the wonders of the words and how beautiful it is. We get to restore in our souls and even our physical bodies. Today, the Lord God so desired for you to reach out and save someone. It is the reality of the testimony that you have this life in reality when you reach out and try to share the life with another. They know exactly when it's time to praise. They come ready. When they're ready to have their tithe and give it, the wallet is already out in position to do so. Everything within the church building is completely done. But the Tongan folks are dying of hunger outside of this building, outside of the church. The hope relies on you. It will be pleasing unto him much more. It will be pleasing unto the Lord God. Not only endeavoring from your very own life, but also reach out to someone else to share the very life that you have possession of. As I speak, he brings to memory the time when I went to Hawaii. Wanted to establish the church in Hawaii. Went into the house of Kolofungani's father. I was not aware of the relation at the time. Came to share the gospel with him, having to believe in the Lord Jesus. <laughs> this individual was uh, a well built individual, not like Lord. <laughs> After counseling with him, I asked him the question, the invitation comes to you, uh, would you like to receive the Lord Jesus Christ, accept him? He said, Pastor, what other Jesus did you have now bring here? He took up his shirt. I thought that the pastor will see his very last day. He took up his shirt. He said, do you see here, up here in my Who is that? I look over to see the picture of Jesus tattooed right there on his chest. He said, which Jesus do you have? This is the Jesus right here. I said, I'm not talking about the Jesus on, on the chest. I'm talking about Jesus, the Son of God. 
The very Jesus, you're gonna go over to the tattoo folks, tell him to remove and put Satan. I'm talking about the Jesus who restored my mother. I am concerned about the Jesus who was hung on the cross. I am concerned about the Jesus who said from the cross, it is finished, it is completely done, who died so that you can live. That is exactly what I share with him. That is the Jesus I'm giving you tonight. Just leave your Jesus on your chest. But the one I am sharing is the one that you come to recite inside your heart. I praise God tonight. We pray. We confess his sin, open his heart, invite the Jesus into his heart. And so we accept the Jesus tonight. So, more often, he showed up at the service. I'm encouraging you, all of you, church. There's still so many outside dying in this sin. Maybe it's your family, maybe it's in the circles of your friends. That's the vision of the Lord God for us. To heal you, restore you. And when you have that life, go forth and heal someone else. That's the kind of lifestyle will be pleasing Jesus was not pleasing. When those two people had worked their talents and the one went and buried the talents. It was supposed to be for you to go and work 